Hello and welcome to the next instalment of the Excel 2010 Essential Training Series. In this instalment we are going to be looking at formulas. Formulas allow us to perform calculations in a spreadsheet. Before we start, make sure you've downloaded this spreadsheet by clicking on the Tutorial Files button below. We're going to, we're going to start by writing some basic formulas. So let's click in this box and what we're going to do is we're going to press equals now this tells Excel that what we're going to write is a formula you always start a formula with an equals in a click on the first number we want to use in the formula so that's in cell A2 and we're going to add these two numbers together so as we can see by looking here we use the plus symbol and I'm going to click on the second number so we're adding number one to number two and I'm going to press the tick and there we go we've got our formula I'm now going to enter the formula for this one so equals click on the first number I'm going to add again click on the second number and then we can press the tick or press enter this time we're going to subtract so we use the minus sign for this so equals click on the first number subtract the second number and then this time we are going to multiply multiply we use the asterisk or star so equals first number multiply second number enter and there we go now continue this process until we get down to divide now for divide we use the forward slash so we do equals click on the first number divide by the second number and press enter equals first number divided by second number enter and we'll just do the last one okay so there we go we're now going to move on to the second sheet the sum sheet we're going to use the sum button in order to work out the total of all these numbers so to add all these numbers together so we click in this cell and press the sum button this is the sum button so the sum just adds up a range of numbers together there we go you can see it's highlighted that range and it's going to add up all the numbers in that range okay now I press on the button again And we could keep going down and doing this for every cell, but there's a quicker way of doing this. If I go back to this cell and hover over this little black box in the bottom right hand corner of the cell, click, hold and drag down. Now this is known as the fill handle and it helps you work out the formula that should go in the rest of the cells. This doesn't always work for every single situation but most situations this will this will work we're now going to apply what we've learned by going back to the technology shop spreadsheet we were looking at in the last tutorial so if I click on the last sheet we're going to work out the profit so to do that we need to take the selling price and then take away the cost so equals price take away cost there we go and then we can use the fill handle again to work out the rest for the total we need to multiply the profit by the number of sales so equals profit multiply number of sales and then again we can use the fill handle there we go now for the total income we can use the sum button I'm going to click on the sum button there we go 
Okay, and again we can use the sum button to work out the total expenditure. Okay, now for the profit or loss, we need to take the total income and take away the total expenditure from it. So equals, click on the total income, take away total expenditure. And as you can see, we are currently making a loss because it's a minus figure. Okay, so we've now completed that technology shop spreadsheet using those formulas. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you need more information, please visit classroommultimedia.com.